and going for the push. So it's going to be a lot of angling to see who can get the push. It definitely looks a little iffy here. I, Seekers is so so strong in all of their lanes. All of their lanes are going to do fine. They're if VP can too. get an opening here, RTC trying to go for the rune, surrounded by four players. Support's going to come over the hillside, and what do they do? RTC just sits on top of the rune with a spike over onto God. It will be the DK picking up the rune, and God, he's dropping down low. Open wounds over on RTC. Yoku trying to find that damage. Alchemist actually able to run himself away, so God will end up surviving, or will he? Universe missing up hill. He can't reach him. God will start the south. The three won't be able to cancel it up in time, so VP already with one kill. you got open wounds up at eight seconds. Seconds time All a little misses. bit too far away, but they're gonna keep chasing up after no, universe false. to try and find the kill while Enigma kills J the Chen over in the tree line. I still want to see if they can kill universe on this top lane. Oh, there man. goes your attack. There's no way for Terra. They use the open wounds into the stun, and this one should be a two for one trade off oh, going the way of Virtus Pro early on. They did get the first spot over on FNG. Like, RTZ doesn't need to try and find a kill on, like, on an Alchemist, as you said before, like, he's insanely tanky. You just stand there in the lane, you breathe fire, you farm, you stay in close, you're oh, all good. Play fire right now. Yeah, Aloha Dan's gonna start with a stun, he has to spray us down, I might die. Well, he just turns his own stun, in comes Nature's Prophet, Universe coming to help out, FNG will be dropping here, no spike carapace to try and stall it out, as God is calling Blaze able to get through the Sprout. His jungle camp's blocked, he's still farmed fairly efficiently, and the most important thing happening right now for Secret is that Alchemist is the fourth lowest net worth in the game. That is ridiculous, that almost never happens, and it's gonna hurt his overall farm very hard. He's almost got slow ring though, which means he can jungle. Uh, there's not many stacks that are prepared. Top river, a little bit of trouble right now for a low art dance, caught inside the tree line. Highlight uh, died, the attack's not gonna be enough. The very fire gives just enough life for a low heart dance to back out, and then no fear. Looks at the revenge kill, he's gonna take it. But that last little swipe of the hell bear smasher ability to counter push isn't going to be nearly as good. So they're definitely in a really tough spot over on VP side. At least the life stealers farmed, but he doesn't even match up that well against Secret's heroes. E -E. I don't know if you can reach him in time. They're going to cut the tree line. Okay, that's one way to do it. Universe gives the vision for a straight up Omni Slash. Alchemist, he really isn't scary at all. And God can't do anything against Eternal Envy until this stun's going to connect. But it's the open wounds over on Universe, fighting on multiple fronts at the moment. So Universe, he is going to drop, allowing both EE -E and Antizi to survive. What even saw it in the Alliance game? Oh, Envy. God, all he wanted was a little bit of farm, a little bit of space to call his own. And Eternal Envy just takes it from him. Oh. He wanted to commit to that a little bit harder, but it's just safer for him to be with this team. Because if he gets killed by VP right now, yep, that's the only way that anybody on Secret dies right now. So they so. have detection. There's the the Vendetta FNG running forward to a stun. Eternal Envy. Ooh. Stun will happen. You've still got Omni Slash and Spin, but they get the kill very quickly. Highlight died. Drop the Sentry Ward down, but it's a little bit too late. Time's there and does die. So... VP's got to keep getting kills. This is the only way that they come back in this game because right now they're easily on the back foot. The kills are helping them. Like, the experience is getting closer and closer towards Virtus Pro. Universe, TP out, that damage from Yoko. Oh, barely enough. Normally, the big flank. They got a stun from Invis. Oh. It's the only way this works, I think. Yep. If he spins, it's over. They're, he's going to get away. Oh, he goes into Vendetta. Oh, did they see Into him? the tree line. Envy is most gonna break. Envy, there's your wave of terror. And while there's no stun, the damage should be enough to get through him, and it will be. That works because he put himself in a corner, <laughs> but he was already so deep in the trees that a uh, big kill there. Really nicely done by VP to grab that before the next push happens. No fear's in trouble. No, I, I believe no fear is dead. Pilot Eye comes in with a stun, lets the finger of death fly. Puppy with the balances as well. There's no way for no fear to survive. And God. Well, he'll move over with a chemical rage up, but nothing's going to come from it. Especially when Arteezy is keeping the rest of his team occupied on top of that tier 2 tower. And Aloha, he wants to go for more. If he can get the swap on Arteezy into the magic missile, maybe Ooh. then they can follow up for an open wounds and some from FNG, but the range is just too far. And 15 minutes in the game, so... That great start, riding this game out, if that, if it comes to that, it should be possible. And he might die. Caught out with a damage rune, that's a lot of damage, very quickly. SB is going to end. It's a good item build though because this allows him to move around the map by himself and try to get solo kills similar to how Nyx is doing. So if he finds Vendor Chen or something oh, like top that. Lane, universe. Jump in from FNG, got the perfect stun, Yoku jumps out and has more than enough damage to finish the job. The question is, can Yoku get out? Like, he's the only one with a kill streak right now on Virtus Pro and Puppy. You know him, he'll commit Black Hole for this one if he feels he needs to. He doesn't to. have to, he doesn't even have a TP, he's just dead. Uh, you're right, there's no escape. No ult, no TP, Rage was on cooldown. A little iffy. At least Alchemist is now farmed enough to pick up the slack where Lifestealer started. He might get ganked here though, he sees it. Oh, Aloha Dance. 
Archie's just waiting for the right time. There goes just initial stun. Universe, while the Swamp goes out. So a low R dance trapped inside the Sprout with no way to come free. The Qualian Blade of Gold was too far away. That mech, as well as Hand of God from No Fear, is committed. A Universe, low on life. Greaves will come in from Puffy, however, for the Wrath of Nature. It will bounce on through. It's a two for one trade off us now. Nyx Assassin is down. A double kill for Arteezy. Cane Boots and Arteezy, he's got a casual Hyperstone sitting there, and they just run in. The Creep Wave, well, is it really close enough? No, well, they have to use the fortification. Oh, Thank God! Trouble. So close! The Creep Wave was spawned up, soaking up a little bit more of that Omni Slash. But Arteezy, remember what they came here for? They were to try and bring down the Rack, but they're forced into a fight. Concoction Sun holds Arteezy in position, but he doesn't even really care. They don't look really that right, interested to kill him off, so let's give it a crack. The Rikes the primary target, Pardai gets a stun on Aloha, keeps him out of play. And now Team Secret, they back out, FNG jumps forward. The There's the finger of death, but Eternal Heavy keeps the spin going. With a stun over on God, they're finished the range Rex, and God, he's trapped inside the Sprout. He can't get back out, this is not the dream right now. Yoku trying to kill off Universe with a follow up from FNG, catching out three. This is what they need with the Black Hole from Puppy, the easily cancelled. The Dark Cross Summoner, the MVP right now, the VP, able to get the kill. Envy back into his spin, but he's going to drop as well. Remember the Aegis? Immortal is still available for him, or is he? No, he's not! Arteezy has Ow. an ultra kill! DP are all down for the count! Eternal Envy will survive! The he almost died some, I thought he was dead for sure. At least burn the ages, but it never happened. The fight was so good for VP, despite the Nyx Assassin getting blown up right away. He buys back, had a great impale stun. Looked like they almost killed all the big fours, but they just couldn't pick off the kills enough. Oh, oh boy. At that point, you even wonder if it was worth it for VP to go out because now Eternal Envy, they're focusing him down. But remember, it's just the Aegis, the Immortal Arteezy still got a fresh dragon form here. The trying to back now. out, they're gonna kill him. Swap back over, but Envy, he's focusing on the melee rack. Starts to spin TP. Ooh, they can awesome. kill him, however, so he will die. But you got what you came for. Team Secret, you burn the Aegis, you burn Arteezy's life. Oh, well, now Arteezy just keeps beating armor. into that tier 3 tower. What do you do against that? I, I don't know. Where's he even getting this from? It keeps going up and down. <laughs> but there's still a lot. Look at all this minus armor. He still has plus 28. Well, it's huge. He's moving in and out. Oh, I say he's moving in and out of the acid spray. But then this wave of terrors that also kicks oh, in. Oh, they're going in. Oh, God starts with a stun. He triggers his own BKB to try and take this fight. Universe pops the back line for the sprout. It pushes him out. Then you black hole. God never gets racked in. No fear wants to be part of the hole as well. God's going to drop. He is just hexed up, brought down. Oh boy, that should be mid racked and that should be game. GG well played. 30 30 on the clock when it's called. Then Virtus Pro will lose game one here against Team Secret. Yeah, this is their last chance to win a fight. Envy basically, or Arteezy sat on the opposite side, did whatever he wanted to. And once the Black Hole came out, that wastes almost all the BKB of Elk, and they can easily burst him down afterwards with disables and right clicks. So, really well played from Secret, man. This draft did everything they wanted to. I feel like they got every single hero.